Good afternoon, welcome on in to another episode of From Day One. This afternoon we have a soft sit dumb who wants her window back. I don't expect you to go from that to... Ready? No, no, sir, please, I need a supervisor on this. Basically ending up with a sideways convertible. Uh -huh. So the reason why I stopped, you made that right turn from Pearl to Bagley. You made it at the red light, and I'm not sure if you realize, but you almost struck me. I apologize. No, I did not. I apologize. No, I did not. I guess that's a whole different take on didn't do nothing. Okay. You got driver's license on you? I actually don't have anything. I'm just going up to work. I didn't bring anything with okay. you today. No big deal. Sit down here and go. Yeah, you're supposed to treat it well, that right there. You can't even make a right turn at this time at the red light. Like, I'm not really used to this area right now. I'm so sorry. Ah, I see. So the traffic laws are entirely dependent on you being familiar with the area. Can't say I ever learned that in traffic school. That's a bit weird. You're weird, though. So, where are you heading right now? I'm going back home. Where's your job at? It's not right there. So, uh, it's a. Is there anything illegal inside this vehicle? Who smokes weed in here? Uh, it's just my car. Mm -hmm. It's just my car. Ah, uh, yes, you see, officer. I I've been going to uh, meetings with my car, and my car just refuses to stop smoking weed, and, you know, it's a bit addicted to the naughty plant. Now, the naughty plant itself, uh, it should be legal, but you shouldn't drive while being under the influence or have it in your car, you smelly bastard. So nothing illegal? Inside. Uh, I again, I apologize. I was just heading home. Like, I really, I really didn't know that. Like, I can't turn right there. I'll definitely aware of it now. So the reason why I'm asking is because I do smell weed. Uh, I apologize. Yeah. And I, I, I really didn't mean to. Like, I had no idea. I'll be super aware of that okay. intersection from now on. Um, I'll be doing more. Give me a favor because we're gonna cause traffic back up here. Can you just pull into that street right here? I'll Make a right. Sure. All right. I appreciate that. It's just um, safety wise, traffic safety wise. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm asking is because I do smell weed. Obviously, I'm not. If if there is some in here, you're not gonna get cited or anything for it. I mean, if it's like a roach or something. Like there might be something like that, but I don't. Right. I don't want it up in my head. I got you. Oh. Yeah, it's like, uh, like, I don't, we don't say no more for those. Uh, so far, she's not in trouble, right? She's just going to get a ticket for stupid driving maneuvers. And that, that should be it. That's the, that's, that's the entire, you know, what's going to happen. <laughs> Why? Why do people insist on increasing their dumb, da dumb, dumb? Uh -huh. I just, my only concern is I if there's anything it's, else other than that. That's why I'm asking this. you, I've is it okay if I take a look? Well, this is what I got. This is actually okay, what I got. But that's not what I'm asking. Uh, I, I prefer not to, like, because I... So based on that, I could, just so you know. Okay, I prefer if you didn't. Okay, boy, I'm telling you, based on that, I understand. I can't. I'd, I'd prefer if you didn't. Like, again, I'm super okay. sorry. It was just, seriously, it was just an accident. Like, I really didn't mean to. Well, no, it wasn't exactly an accident, it was more a stupid steering maneuver. You know what I don't understand? Why do people have weed in their car? It's just an open invitation to officers searching your car. But then again, we're also still trying to figure out why people drive drunk. No, I really look, do, I I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I, I get it. I get you trying to get really home. bad day, like as it was, I was supposed to go to the office. People weren't there. I just, I'm trying to get home. I, I really didn't know that the intersection was like that. Alright, here, come on, step out. Huh? I have not written you anything. Know, I'm just trying I, to be... I don't, <laughs> I also know my rights and I don't think I have to. No, no, there's a difference between don't want to and don't have to. In this case, you gotta get out of the car, lady. Imagine starting a sentence with I know what I'm doing and then ending it on proving you actually don't have any clue what the hell is going on. You do. So don't make it hard. I really, please, I just want to go home. I'm asking you to step out nicely. I'm asking you to step out nicely. Uh, uh, uh. 
Police Officer Nasser, 732. Come on out. There, 222. If you're not tied up, you want to swing by. Police man, gotta catch them all. So it turns out when the officer came back from his car to check something and call for backup, she uh. rolled up the window. Alongside another officer safety issue, she was on the phone. Hi there, miss. Hi, I'm okay. Hi there. Okay. Well, you don't see that very often. Looks like she came prepared with a bloody camcorder. I uh, know camcorders are pretty good and I'm gonna go on a tangent here, let's not, shall we? Um, I mean, camcorders still have a function in terms of uh, film ability and uh, it's easier to hold and you also don't accidentally make stupid vertical movies and, uh, you know, there's uh, capabilities for zoom stability and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> Hi there, miss. Hi. Can you talk to me now, please? One moment, please, sir. Well, okay. I, I, uh, I have to go over to the So now what? <clears throat> your daddy? How old are you? Why does your dad have to come over? What? What? What, what exactly is going on with our current generation of dipshittery battlers? They always call their mommy or daddy. Now, if this is a good mommy or daddy, they would come over and smack them upside the head, you know? And call me so I can set up a ticket booth so I can sell tickets to smack them upside the head. That's gonna be a lucrative business. <laughs> step right up, step right up. Look at this grown-ass adult calling for mommy or daddy while doing a dumb on the road. I'm selling tickets uh, one and a half dollars for a good smack upside the head. Don't kill him, just hit him. You know, you got to get your disclaimers in there. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not legal at all, but hey. <laughs> Entertainment is a risky business. Okay, well, I can smell the marijuana too as I'm up here. And I. So. It is. So if an officer tells you you have to step out of the vehicle, you have to step out of the vehicle. That's a lawful order, okay? So. That's not true. I'm being very nice and patient. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you comply with me, I'll give you whatever you want. But right now. You're not. Oh, are you a sovereign citizen? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call her a solar citizen. She's just doing a dumb on the road with her camcorder. But yeah, it, it is. Uh... I want to be the biggest dumb. The biggest dumb of them all. <laughs> to collect badge numbers, my real test. To entertain you all is my cause. <laughs> Patrolman Venus Badge 722, okay? Okay, so you've been given a lawful order to exit the vehicle three times by me, okay? I the first time that you've actually asked me. Okay, can you please exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? Can you please exit the vehicle? Okay, so... You have to exit the vehicle. You really can't write this shit. So, three times a charm, hmm? And if your father comes here and interferes with the traffic stop, things could get a lot worse. Right now, if it's just marijuana, I'll be honest with you, we do not we do not cite for marijuana. However, it is probable cause for a search, and we will need to seize that because you cannot have that legally. I would like to wait. Do you understand that? Yeah, I would still like to wait. Okay. Can you please step out of the vehicle? I would still like to wait. Okay. If you continue this, you're going to be arrested for obstruction. Okay. Good luck with that in court. Okay. It's always baffling, isn't it? How these people make a simple traffic stop with a simple citation in possession of illegal weed for which you will not get a citation, but then go on insisting, making it a lot worse for them because reasons. Very stupid, immature reasons. You're a grown ass woman. Behave yourself. Why did you call your dad? What kind of pathetic shit is this? Okay, so you've been given a lawful command. I did it seven times in a row. Okay, or eight. I that also, was eight. I also have my rights and I'm allowed to wait. Okay. 
you're allowed to wait what the hell does that even mean ironically you're gonna wait a lot longer now because you're gonna get arrested if you keep this stupid shit up eight times in a row this officer gave you a lawful order i'm still wondering why you're sitting in the car um yeah great great fantastic are there any firearms in the vehicle okay So, listen, I'm going to tell you, if you do not comply, if you do not get out within the next 30 seconds, I'm breaking this window and you're being drug out. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? If you do not comply, I've given a lawful order for you to exit the vehicle 10 times. If you do not comply within 30 seconds, I will break the windshield and drag you out of the car. Do you understand that? I don't think I can make that any more clear to you. You must exit the vehicle. Okay? You can post this. You can think you're cool posting it on the internet. You are wrong. You are wrong. Okay? Oh, I don't think we have to worry about her looking cool because... We found her. Red cow? Uh -huh. We've got this. So you must exit the vehicle. You can peacefully exit the vehicle. Yep. Well, this is all this is all in you, okay? I'm thoroughly scared at this point. Yes, I am. I am thoroughly scared because the officer is uh, threatening me, and uh, you know I am very, very scared. You can hear it in my voice. Uh -huh. Shut your bloody mouth and get the hell out. This victim mentality—it just is pathetic. Uh, you can, you show up here. Okay, I'm gonna break the window if you do not exit the vehicle. And with that, you'll have to come back in the evening to find out what happens if the lady actually gets her window smashed or not. Thank you for watching from day one. We'll see you tonight.